Hello guys, this is Young. Welcome to my very first video for the print-on-demand community. I'm actually recording this in Orange County. I had dinner with both RJ and Matt the other night and they were telling me that I should put out some more content for you guys and um, and I agreed. Um, I think uh, more content for you guys will be good for both you and me. Um, so I figured you know what, I'm going to make um, a series of videos for the next few weeks on how to make KDP interiors using non-Adobe products. Okay, so for this particular video, I'm going to use Google Slide and try and make a KDP interior. And guys, the first thing I'm going to say is just bear with me. I've never made an interior using Google Slide for KDP, uh, so this is going to be a learning process. Uh, for me as I go um, as, I, as I continue with this video um, I'm sure there's probably a dozen ways you can go about doing so um, so again just bear with me um, I don't use Google slide too often this is just to kind of give you guys an idea that you can make interiors you don't need Adobe you don't need to go out and spend money on uh, premium software you, know, you can you know, there are cheaper solutions to make um, interiors for KDP. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of get rid of the text here. Um, let's start fresh. I want I want my page to be empty. Um, let's see if we can change the size. Page setup. Okay. So I was told I was told that. Uh, 6 by 9 is by far the most popular size when it comes to publishing journals. Um, so I'm going to make my, make my um, page here 6 by 9 inches. But you can do this for any size that you guys want. Okay, I'm going to click apply. Alright, um, so I'm thinking we need to add a second page. Right click duplicate slide okay so we have two pages now right um, now uh, the first thing that we want to do is add margins um, I've made uh, interiors in the past and I do remember that KDP they do have margins uh, they have specific measurements that they want you to use uh, if you're gonna make interiors so and um, and I don't have those measurements in front of in front of me so let's go and try and find those uh, KDP lead margin maybe that's it um Okay, yeah, so this is this is exactly what we were looking for. Um, I'm going to use the second row here to make our interior. Um, so it says here our inside gutter. They want it to be a half an inch. Um, and if you guys don't know what a gutter is, so imagine having a book in front of you and you have that book open. The gutter is basically the spacing between your spine in the content okay does that make sense is basically the spacing between um, so for instance I have uh, page one here highlighted um, uh, the gutter is this spacing right here right let's say let's say this arrow right here is a spine when you have your book open right that's a spine the gutter is a spacing between your you know let's say this is all content right here Okay, this is the spacing between the content and the spine. Alright? And if this was a if this was a second page, um, the the gutter will be right here, right? The gutter will be right here. In fact I can add that now because we already know that it's a half an inch, right? We want a half an inch um, margin. So and so let's do this. So 
since we already added a couple of margins here, um, but they're for separate pages, so anything for the left hand side of the book, I'm going to see if I can make the margins um, a different color. I don't know if I can even do that. Oh, you can. So basically what I did was I put my cursor over the over the margin, right click, okay. I'm going to change that to blue, alright, and then anything that's on the right hand side of my book, I want the margins to be red. Okay. Um, And then they want the outside margins at least um, 0.375 inches. Right. Um, 0.38, that's close enough. And we're currently working on, um, I currently have page two highlighted. So we're working on the right hand side of the book. Right. This is the book. This is the page that's now on the right hand side of the book. If you were to have it open, um, so that's my gutter. Uh, so if I so, so we got we do have to do a little math here. So six minus point three eight that would be what five point six seven. I think that's right. Um, good God, my! Just bear with me, guys. My uh, my my uh, math is horrible. Five point six two. Okay, five point six three. I think that's close enough. And we said we we're gonna make that red, right? So let's make that red. Now the top ones, we don't need to change colors because regardless of whether we're on the first page or the second page, those margins are gonna be the same, right? They're gonna go all the way across. So we don't need to change, um, change those uh, measurements. Um, so let's just keep those neutral. Let's keep the um, color black. Um, and then we have to add the outside margin here. 0.38. And let's change that to blue. Right. So we said the first page is going to be blue. And then the second page is going to be red. Okay. If that doesn't make sense, it will here in a second. So I'm just going to create a basic line ruled uh, uh, template here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the line, um, choose the line option here. If there is that it? Yeah, line. So st okay. So since we're on page one, I'm using the blue margin. I'm going to click shift and drag my line all the way across to the next blue line. Okay, I think that's close enough. Okay. Then let's highlight that. Copy, paste. Let's move it down. That looks good. So now let's highlight and copy those two lines that we already have, paste, okay, so what's cool is Google Slide is smart enough to know the difference, to know the, um, the spacing between each line, so it automatically, uh oh, what happened, did I lose it, okay, so it automatically knows the spacing between each line, so, um, so that's cool. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and highlight all four lines, copy, paste. All right, and then we'll copy all the lines again, copy, paste. Okay. 
we're getting close to the bottom here. We're getting close to the bottom margin. So I'm not going to copy all of them. Actually, that might be a little too much. Copy, paste. Let's move that down. Okay, I have some additional lines that we don't need. So let's just highlight them and get rid of them. All right, so cool, look. And the cool thing is, we're almost done, okay? So these lines that we made, all we have to do now is just highlight, copy, and then paste them into the second page. And remember, on the second page, we're now using the red margins, right? I'm going to move this over to the red margin, just like that, okay, um, it's shifting a little, so when I click back and forth, it is shifting a little, that's something that you guys can play with, um, so where it doesn't shift, but it's close enough for what I'm doing now, <coughs> excuse me, um, and the next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to create about 200 pages, okay, um, and then from there you guys can, you know, you guys can add 300 pages if you want, you can only do 100 pages if you want, it's entirely up to you, I'm going to do 200, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, highlight these two pages, right click, duplicate slides, and then just keep doing this. Basically, we're doing the same thing w with what we did with the lines, right? We're, we're just going to highlight all the new slides every time we make, make them, right? Um, so we're going to duplicate. So now we have eight. Duplicate. We have 16 now. 32. Forty nine, ninety eight. Okay, we have what one forty eight. Uh, we need what fifty two more pages. So let's go, let's go down to fifty two. And highlight all the way to page number one. Okay. There's our 200 pages. Okay, I'm gonna click File. Is it download? Download as a PDF document. Here it is, guys. Look, I have a fresh, freshly made KDP interior uh, with the correct margins um, ready to upload. That's how you make interiors using Google Slide. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be back next week, hopefully with a new uh, uh, tutorial. Not hopefully, I will, I promise. I'll be back next week with a new tutorial. Um, guys. This is my very first video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this helped you. Um, any suggestions, any feedback is always welcome. Thanks.